So tonight I'm using the Aztec Secret Indian Healing Clay Mask. I purchased this a few weeks ago, but I haven't taken it seriously. So I'm gonna go ahead and try it out since my face is breaking out terribly. So the liquids you're going to need to mix with this product can either be apple cider vinegar or you can also use water. Now you're going to pour it to your liking. It's not an exact measurement as long as it mixes to the perfect texture for you. So I'm going to go ahead and apply the face mask with a old makeup brush. I'm going to basically paint my face all over in random spots and random areas until my face is completely fulfilled. And I will add a second layer if I see any patches or see any thin layers. I want my mask to be nice and thick so it can seep through my pores as it sits on my face for the next 30 so minutes basically. dry I gotta wait like 30 minutes before I can't feel my face completely so I've rinsed the face mask off of my face and I can't even flex my face feels extremely soft um, but my main goal is to get rid of the blemishes on my cheek and my forehead. Um, but other than that, it feels really nice on my skin. So my skin gets really dry, so I'm actually going to use some cocoa butter formula moisturizer to put on my face. I'm actually going to take a little dab. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and apply that on my face immediately where I feel it getting dry. And then once I do that, I'm actually going to apply a little bit more on both of my hands and I'll mix it together and I'll actually go back in for a second time and apply it all over my face. I'm basically just forcing the cocoa butter moisture into my skin wherever dry flaky skin likes to pop up on my face I'm just aggressively pressing into my skin in those areas honestly I'm loving this product so far even though you can say it's been day one I'm looking forward to trying it out throughout the week This is actually my favorite part of the process because 30 minutes has went by and my face is now really itchy so I just like to poke it a bit to fulfill that itch that I cannot basically scratch but yeah so basically it's almost time to rinse it off. So remember the main goal is to get rid of the blemishes on my cheek and my forehead. 
but here I've washed and rinsed my face and I'm gonna go ahead with the same moisturizer that I used in day one. So I'm using some Moderma Scar Gel that I've used in the past before and it really does work. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that to the scar on my forehead and on my cheek just to speed this process up a little bit faster and just to see if it will really work. <laughs> 